Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Mimi and today we're finishing part three of the Under the Stars scrapbook album. I don't know if you noticed right off the bat, but this is my new setup, which I did mention in my last video of, um, well, it's my new setup with my tripod that my sister got me for Christmas and she also got me this cool light that attaches to my desk. Um, so I'm really excited and I think this makes the filming just so much higher quality and I love it, love it, love it. Hopefully you do too. I decided to start off this layout with a piece of um, patterned paper over this plain paper because let's be honest, I just don't like a plain background. I think it's way too simple and I wanted something a little more exciting so I added on this pretty moon strip. Um, and if you couldn't tell in the beginning of the video, I was trying to show you that my photo mat is cut too small. I don't know when that happened. I, I pre-cut all of my photo mats so I guess I'm probably going to find at least one more that is like this. Um, because I do cut them all like in sets of twos, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's a little too short, but how I fixed that, you'll see, is that I just added embellishments to the bottom to cover up the bottom of the photo so that I could still center it so that each side had a quarter of an inch on it besides the bottom. And the bottom I just covered up because then you won't notice. This moon embellishment that you see here, it's like a moon made out of flowers, came from one of the journaling cards in this paper pad. And like I always say, that is one of my favorite ways to create embellishments is to just cut out of journaling cards or cut right out of the 12 by 12 paper. Um, any of the pieces that kind of stick out to you and you think you could make into a femora type, type of deal, definitely do it. It's my favorite thing to do. Switching over to using hot glue instead of this stinky little bottle of white glue has changed the game for me. It makes things so much faster. I don't know why I ever put my hot glue gun away. I absolutely love it and it makes crafting so much easier. So if you don't have a hot glue gun yet, I totally, totally recommend one. This is a cheaper one that stands up by itself from Michael, so it's not the cheapest option, um, but I think it was like 20 bucks and then you can always use a coupon. And it stands up by itself. It works really good. Um, the only other thing that I think you could do to really upgrade your hot glue gun game is to buy a cordless one but I really don't mind the cord and I love this one but right here I'm adding, adding on the finishing touches those are these gems right here I love the way the gems play with the whole iridescent look of this entire album so I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of gems on pretty much every single layout um, but with that those are the final touches I hope this inspires you to create something and as always if you do create something inspired by me please be sure to tag me I'd love to see your work I'm on Facebook Instagram and TikTok I'm also on Pinterest if you want to follow me there um, but yeah I'd love to see your stuff and be friends so uh, make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video